All right, we want to get back to that breaking news we have been following out of Baltimore. State officials, Governor Wes Moore, they're giving an update on recovery efforts following yesterday's bridge collapse. Let's go ahead and listen in. Good evening. Today, we transitioned from search and rescue to recovery. We need to bring a sense of closure and comfort to the families, and we take that very seriously. And to all the families, I say, estamos contigo, ahora y siempre. Less than an hour after the collapse, we had divers in the water at 2.25 a.m. to begin search and rescue. This morning, we had divers in the water starting at 6 a.m for search and recovery. This is not a conclusion. It's a continuation. And we take this phase just as seriously and just as personally as we took the last phase. And I want to thank, as always, all of our first responders, the Maryland State Police, the Coast Guard, the Natural Resources Police, Baltimore City Police Departments, and Baltimore County, Baltimore City, and Prince George's County Fire Departments, and everybody who was involved inside of this work. Now I can tell you over these past days, we have heard an outpouring of thoughts and prayers coming in from all around the world. For Baltimore, for Maryland, for the victims, and for their families. And to everybody who is sending out those prayers, I want to say that we have felt them and we've com been comforted by them. To everybody who has shared kind words, we want to say that we appreciate the words and the kind gestures that you have shown. And we also want to let everybody know this, that going forward, we're also going to need your support. The collapse of the Key Bridge is not just a Maryland crisis. The collapse of the Key Bridge is a global crisis. The national economy and the world's economy depends on the port of Baltimore. The port handles more cars and more farm equipment than any other port in the country. Last year alone, the port handled $80 billion of foreign cargo, the largest in the country. Now in the last 24 hours, that we've had a chance to work 